showstoppers. The show must go on. Showstopper Disha Chakraborty is in the search of the unknown and the dark energy. Space is something she is totally entangled in. Ever since her birth, stories of space and universe pacified her easily. She had always been curiosity driven, deeply interested in the mysteries and the miracles of astronomy. Today, teenager Disha is a passionate astronomy enthusiast to have graduated winning Commander's Cap from NASA. And shortly, she will be proceeding for advanced training at NASA, making our country proud. Disha not only has her podcast on astronomy, but is also the founder president of the first astronomy club in school which is associated with Birla Planetarium and Birla Industrial and Technological Museum. Showstopper Disha is a powerhouse who aims at inspiring the students and spreading awareness on space science. At Showstopper, we take pride in presenting Showstopper Disha Chakraborty. Showstoppers, the show must go on. Tisha, it's such a pleasure having you here. You are a hugely interesting girl, I must say. Uh, you are a teenager and you are in high school and yet you have achieved so much in your life as, you know, uh, as compared to, uh, to your dreams, you know, fulfilling your dreams, which most grown-ups hardly think of these days. And, uh, yeah, considering that all the pressure they get yes, from them. Yeah, that's, that's what. And you are already on your journey uh, to reach the stars. I mean, literally you are reaching the stars. I'm at awe. So what is it that made you interested in going in this line to become an astronaut? And what is it about space that fascinates you? I'd say that majorly not being an astronaut, but being an astronomer, what fascinates me about space is that we don't know a lot of it and there's a lot where we can go in and research about and the fact that uh, there's space for us to yes. research about it. Absolutely, that's really great. And there are a lot of questions that comes up to my mind like, uh, if I take an example, if the universe is expanding, how is it endless? If I think about that, I just wait to become an astronomer and research on that. Oh, that's really wonderful, you know, because I, I believe that you um, went to NASA for your advanced academy training. Yeah. So um, tell us something about your experiences and what are the kind of challenges that you may have faced at the time of your training and how did you work around those challenges? As we know, like space is out of the world. Yeah. The training was also out of the world. and. Uh, the, the things that I face there, the challenges, as you said, yes. I won't say that making a rover and making the rockets was that much of a challenge because a lot of engineering was involved in there. But what I'd say was a challenge was me climbing up 33 feet, 155 wow, feet. Oh my God. Because I've never climbed up a ladder even wow. before that. And then uh, we had a lot of missions, which was over three hours or four hours even. And I was one of, in one of the mission, I was a Capcom and I had to coordinate between the, uh, the Moker and the rocket. Uh -huh. And also I was a shuttle commander, so I was commanding the whole mission. And in another one, I was an EVA. So you see astronauts going up and then being there like a rocket works. So I was doing that for like three hours. 
which was a wow. record there. So is it like uh, something called like space walk? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So how space was the work. experience of space walk? It was cool. I mean, <laughs> like did you feel uh, light or something? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like what was the feeling? Weightlessness. Yeah. Like couldn't believe that I had feel weightless some sometime, but it was amazing. I remember after an hour and forty five minutes, the trainer asked me, "Do you want to come down?" I was oh. like, "No, I can be here forever." Yeah, that is one nice determined girl from our country, I must say. And I believe that you climbed that ladder, and then you had to climb a bamboo. Yeah, right. Wow, how did you do that? I just did it. I remember asking one of my teammates that if I back out. Will that be a problem? And then she was like, you know, you know what? The whole aim of this is to take you out of your comfort zone because in life, you won't always be in a comfort zone. So just do it. Yeah, and, I and I, yes, I, yes, because I also remember where you said that there were these boxes which yeah. were hidden there mm-hmm. for forty years, mm-hmm. and uh, nobody no could find yeah. it. So and I think y'all did it, and it was also not about finding the box, but also finding the code. So it's incredible. Uh, I mean, it's such a pleasure sitting with you out here. So what? What is your future plans? I plan on uh, majoring astronomy and doing uh-huh. BS in the states, and then going to France for my masters, and going back to the states for PhD and maybe postdoc. I'm not sure about postdoc yet, but definitely being an astronomer and researching. Oh, that's great! But I believe that you uh, you are going to NASA once again for advanced training now. Yeah, hopefully I that get to so register. Good. That's so good that you got uh, you. You were telling me I think yeah. that they, you, they sent you the invitation yeah, to join. Yeah, for the, for the so next. So that just shows how incredible and passionate. passionate you are in uh, your field of passion and your dreams and i do hope that your dreams do come true is there any advice you would like to give to the youth of this society with respect to astronomy with respect to astronomy all i want to say is that our universe or the big bang or anything related to it is the sole reason why we are here today so i wish that the youth will be more responsible so as to know a bit more about our existence and also i would like to tell them that you know in life not everything will be given to you on a platter so just go out there and do what you like to do and give back to the society It's incredible, uh, Disha. Because, um, and I wish you all the best Thank you. Uh, in your future endeavor and your dreams as well. So, showstoppers is proud to bring inspiring success stories of people like India's upcoming astronaut Disha Chakraborty, who is on a mission to achieve the impossible in the vast space of the universe through all the known and unknown challenges.